Paloma Faith has paid tribute to her dear friend and bandmate Kevin Banks, as the star's musical director's death was announced. The singer broke the news to her Twitter followers on Friday, describing her late friend as most inspiring people in my tribe. It is with so much sadness that I have to share the news of the passing of my dear friend, bandmate and touring MD Kevin Banks following terminal illness, the Never Tear Us Apart singer began in her online tribute. He was one of the most inspiring people in my tribe. Paloma went on to share a number of pictures and memories involving the late artist with her followers on Twitter. We traveled the world with one another, we spent days and nights laughing, musing, working together and loving each other. I am heartbroken that he won't be on the next tour, the star continued on Friday. This tour was very special to all of us as we knew then it would be his last. Captioning a snap of herself with Kevin, where the late artist can be seen holding a guitar, Paloma wrote, In the days leading up to his death we had long chats and I held him as I wanted to and told him how much I loved him many times. his wonderful girlfriend in the last days. The singer went on to reveal that three of the songs on her new record were inspired by her late friend, and she will be performing them on tour this year. Paloma concluded her moving online tribute writing, He's not gone though, he's just gone on ahead. I love you Banks and always will. Rest in all the magic you are. Forever in my heart, Paloma X. Kevin was credited with a number of contributions connected with Paloma's musical output over the years, including playing the guitar on several tracks on her 2020 album Infinite Things. The late artist had also worked with singers like Daniel Pemberton and Gail Holmes prior to his death. Following Paloma's tweets on Friday, a number of Kevin's fans and friends also paid tribute to him in the wake of his death. Terribly sad news. I went to school with Kev. Now he really was the coolest 16-year-old, and still cool AF at 41. That's far too young though, no matter how high you've flown. Rest in peace, Kev, one wrote in reply to Paloma's original post. Another tribute read, it's surreal to learn of the passing of someone who once had a place in your heart like this. It's been a long time since I last saw Kev but we wrote emo poetry to each other when we were teenagers and for a while, it was good. I'll raise a glass to him tonight, gone too soon. Paloma rose to fame when her debut studio album, Do You Want the Truth or Something Beautiful? was released back in 2009. She has since gone on to release another four studio albums, in addition to working in TV on shows like The Voice. <laughs>